Hey, welcome back everybody. Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number 23 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2015 series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over how to round corners on your objects in the program. Now, what you're looking at on the screen on my actual thumbnail are clipping masks. You know, images were, were put into these shapes that I was able to make with the rounded corners. Now, I believe it was in 2014, uh, in CC 2014, when they made it much easier for you to round your corners on already designed objects. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to do basically the same thing on these objects. But before I show you how to do that, I am going to do a couple things. I'm going to come up into here into my shapes. I'm just going to hold this down. I can get, you know, whatever random shapes I want. So right now I'm going to make a rectangle. Okay. And we're going to fill it with black. All right. And we're going to make a, a longer rectangle here. And we're going to make one that's a little bit bigger. We're going to make one that's high, just like so. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to first click on the first shape. And you're going to notice that in each corner, you're going to see these little circles within the shape. So what's going to happen if you click down and you're going to see as you, you have to hold down and move your mouse, as I come to the center, all right, it's going to make that basically a complete circle. As we pull it out, it's going to make them smaller. Now, when you let go, all of a sudden, you're going to notice that you have four corners that are basically the same shape. So coming into here, you're able to actually change this to inverted round and chamfer, however you pronounce that. But basically, as you change them, you're able to now do some cool things with that. So you can do like a custom shape or whatever you want. So right now we're going to come back to rounding and I'm going to come into here and I am going to show you that up in here in the corners is where it's showing you the actual pixels. So the more pixels, the more rounded it's going to be. Now we're going to come into this one right over here. Okay. And what we're first going to do is we're going to hit A on our keyboard to get our direct selection because now what we're going to do is we're going to just select one or two corners. So we're going to click and hover over the first point. You see that's the only one that's lit up with a circle. We're going to hold shift and we're going to do the, the point on the other end. So now we're going to click these and we're going to pull these in and you're going to see something really cool happens. It makes like a type of a leaf type of an effect, which is the clipping mass that I did on this initial image right over here. All right. Now let's see what happens if we change the actual shape of them. Cool, right? All right. Just coming out with like cool custom shapes now. And you're still able to now manipulate these even more because it's, it's vector objects right here. Same thing with this. You can always pull these, right? And then you can go, oops, I really don't like that. Now you can hover over these points and you can pull them back if you want. Just if you want one round on the, uh, on the bottom. All right, so now what we're now going to do is we're going to take the pen tool and we're going to make like a very simple shape, right? All right, and we're now going to hit A on our keyboard and it's going to come up with those points and we're just going to pull them in and you're going to see that it actually makes like, you know, us, it allows us to make some type of a cool shape here. Uh, you can even use this in some type of a logo or a background, um, but that's basically what this tool can do. And coming back into here, you know, say we pull this down right here, we can now do a clipping mask, which I did in one of my earlier episodes. Uh, we could pull this one in here. Actually, let me pull this funky abstract one in here. Right click, a clipping mask. And now because it's in a clipping mask, we can do all the things that you could do in a clipping mask. We can you know, put a stroke on it and put that stroke in like green or something. We can come up to here to effects. We can do a drop shadow. There's just a number of things that we can do with, with this. So hope you enjoyed my video about rounding corners. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Let me know how you love this series so far. Please share this out. A lot of work goes into planning these tutorials. And definitely um, let me know some um, ideas for future tutorials. I will definitely uh, try and address them. All right, everybody have a great night. Peace.